Hello and welcome back to the ABC Networking Community Channel on YouTube. My name is Herman and in this video I will be showing you how we can use uh, role-based access in combination with Tunnel Node to uh, protect our network from uh, compromised uh, devices on uh, the network. So what it is, is this about? So we have uh, a lot of devices on the network and uh, on my network I do have an IP camera and uh, when I was looking on the internet uh, this week I saw that there was a security vulnerability bulletin so there was a critical vulnerability uh, on uh, the firmware for this IP camera so those cameras are small computers and uh, those can be vulnerable and they uh, can be taken over and uh, for example be used for a denial service attack or even worse uh, to get access to your network so they can be used as a jump station uh, to the network so a few questions are relevant in your network um, first of all uh, do you have that equipment in your network um, did you install the update so uh, you're no longer vulnerable uh, but yeah also can you update the firmware because sometimes firmware's updates uh, will break things and uh, in a uh, hospital for example if you break the uh, MRI systems uh, that might not be a good idea or it can be uh, not acceptable so what can we do uh, to prevent people from uh, compromising those devices and then using it as a jumping uh, platform to uh, the network the answer can be uh, that we can contain it um, so we can limit the access to the device but also uh, the damage that can be done if a device is compromised one of the methods of doing that can be a role based access which is built into uh, the classical Aruba mobility controller solution and we have done for years there uh, that we can pull data from a, a wireless client um, through a tunnel to the mobility controller and do the authentication and all the access control there in the stateful firewall that's uh, built into the mobility controller with the Aruba OS switch feature of tunnel node we can do a similar feature with wire traffic so we can pull the data from a switch board to the mobility controller and do all the authentication and uh, access control there with the uh, mobility controller stateful firewall um, which is uh, which is in there so uh, we can even uh, filter traffic between clients that are in the same subnet so how to set it up um, has been described in a previous video on this channel so I advise you to uh, look back to that video and um, there's also an Aruba solution exchange uh, solution for this where you can set up the IP address of your controller and the VLAN you are using for the tunnel node and then it will spit out the configuration that needs to be uh, placed on your switches on the controller I do have here for my camera example a user role um, which allows DHCP and DNS and uh, traffic to the camera which is in this access list just HTTP traffic for the web interface and RTSP uh, for the streaming data and all other traffic is uh, with a drop all um, uh, discarded um, then also we have that VLAN 999 which uh, was configured on the switch we uh, configure a triple A profile, a wired triple A profile uh, on the controller and uh, we are doing both MAC authentication and dot one x authentication on that profile so we can do the um, authentication so how does that look like so um, let's bring the controller here so we can do a show tunnel note state to uh, see that we have two devices on the network here so port 27 and port 25 are uh, tunneled on uh, the VLAN 999 state complete so the tunnel is up so we can do a show a user and with the show user we can see that we have two clients first is uh, my IP camera um, in the uh, subnet 11 uh, with a camera role which is based uh, uh, is authenticated on Mac authentication and here we can see that it's on uh, this switch on port 27 and we have another client uh, which is dot uh, 1x authenticated and has received the role employee um, with the username of uh, Herman and 
what we um, can uh, show now is with show rights camera um, we can see that we have indeed here um, uh, traffic to DHCP uh, to the DHCP server for renewals and to the DNS server um, just our own uh, servers and uh, traffic to the camera um, which is uh, in the other direction than what you have normally with uh, access list so we have uh, traffic from any source to the user which is the IP camera in this case uh, and we only allow HTTP and uh, RTSP so let's see if we uh, do have communication so this is a uh, VLC window which is now streaming over the uh, RDP uh, RTSP protocol um, so we can see the blinking lights we can see the clock um, running so we do have a live uh, live session uh, here what we can also see now is if we check the logs on the firewall so I put um, some uh, firewall lockings here on all rejected traffic so if we do a show log all 20 so what we can see is that my IP camera is trying to reach the Google DNS server and that is denied because I only allowed traffic DNS to my own uh, system so this might be a misconfiguration but at least it shows that it isn't allowed to the um, uh, to the internet and even if I try to ping the camera here on my uh, from my controller um, 137 you can see I don't have uh, access uh, on here and we can see here uh, if we check the logs uh, that it's not uh, allowed and um, if we uh, try to ping it from um, the dot one x authenticated system we can see even there so this is my dot one x authentication system which is in the same subnet but even then it's uh, not allowed access to the network because the policy uh, doesn't allow that ping traffic it just uh, allows RTP and uh, HTTP to the camera so that's one of the benefits of pulling that traffic through the controller so we have full stateful firewalling in uh, both directions so from the device but also to the device so we can completely isolate it on the network and uh, for example uh, just allow it traffic to and from the management system or maybe to and from a third party that's uh, monitoring and managing the camera system uh, without um, giving that party access to my network or to my full network and uh, not allowing the devices that are managed by a third party access to my corporate network so there's another nice feature um, by uh, for pulling the data through the controller that's uh, that we can also uh, see the traffic so in the controller for wireless uh, there is a feature called app RF and it can show the traffic that's flowing through the camera uh, through the controller and here we can see that we have um, um, for the roll camera we have traffic and if we click on it we can see that's mostly uh, RTSP traffic uh, to the destination uh, of my uh, local system so this is the VLC player uh, running on my local system but we can see the uh, employee um, it's um, getting uh, some video probably from uh, Google videos and it's uh, twittering so uh, we can see it's uh, social networking so even uh, where this uh, client is on the wired network we still have the full insight uh, site in uh, the traffic and we have the full um, full visibility uh, and, and, and control so we can block or uh, throttle this uh, traffic if we don't want to have that uh, Google video uh, taking too much uh, bandwidth so in this video what we saw is that for wired uh, traffic with the tunnel node we can pull uh, all client traffic to an Aruba mobility controller and even uh, when clients are in the same subnets they will communicate through that stateful firewall in the mobility controller and we can exactly define what's allowed and what's not allowed for that specific client and we get full visibility in all the traffic that's flowing through the controller. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave your comments maybe for new videos below this video. This was Herman for the ABC Networking YouTube channel. 
Thank you for watching.